So good morning, I'm Barb Archer, the commander of Major Crimes, and the last name is spelled A-R-C-H-E-R. -E so we're going to give you an update on the homicide that happened at 3990 South Spruce. It was in the early morning hours of May 16th, just after midnight. Officers got a call on probably a burglary. When they got there, they found a male dead inside his house. That male we have identified as 23-year-old Timothy Anderson. Um, during the course of our investigation since May 16th, uh, we put out a Crime Stoppers bulletin for two parties. One of those is the party who was arrested this early this morning in California, DeMarco Blake. In the course of our investigation, we've identified four, three other suspects, <clears throat> excuse me, a DeMond Hamilton, a Kayani Clark, and a juvenile female. So the DeMarco Blake, DeMond Hamilton, and Keone Clark are being charged with first degree murder, first degree burglary, and a crime, and crime of violence used as a sentence enhancer. Questions? Crime of violence, which is a sentence enhancer. We have four people in custody. They were taken in custody over the last week or so. There's a possibility our investigation still continues. So there were seven incidents that night, and we believe that they're connected to those seven. Two of them are in Greenwood Village. In Denver. Correct. When what? So the district attorney's offices will coordinate the extradition as to if California wants to run their case first or if he comes to Denver first. It's a burglary. Burglary ring is what it appears to be at this time. I don't know how they made their selection. I do not, sorry. No. The seven incidents I referred to, yes. All in the same night, all in the same general location. No, no one else was injured, and that's the extent of the details I can give you right now. So three of the four, are, two of them are adults. DeMarco Blake, who was arrested this morning, is 17. He's being filed on as an adult. The other juvenile may be filed on as an adult. That's still under consideration. Correct. So they were burglaries or attempt burglaries or suspicious incidents. I'm sorry, what about what? It, there has to be an arrangement made between the district attorney's offices as to which jurisdiction wants to file their case first. He can waive extradition or he can choose to not. I have no idea. I mean, he's only he hasn't even been in custody 10 hours yet, so that's very early in the game for me to answer that. So obviously it's a very tragic case. I mean, very, very sad situation. Someone whose home's being burglarized and he ends up dead. Our detectives have done extensive legwork on this, have done great police work. Our forensics have helped us a great deal. And through the combination of efforts of multiple jurisdictions, we've gotten to the point now where we can say that we have these four people in custody. So we worked hard on this one. Not that I'm aware of. No, all four right now are being investigated for the homicide. We believe that's correct, yes. It's very frightening. It's very scary, and we're very glad to have these 
this group of dangerous people uh, in custody now to stop this crime spree. You can be home and it can be a burglary as well. Yeah, there are different classifications of the crime. I don't know. They're in that general area of the 3990 South Spruce. I can't give you that information. They may be. May, may being the key word. I can't be definitive on that. Exactly, exactly. I, I, California is a nice place to visit. Yeah. I don't know. So we've t talked to the family throughout the investigation, and we've been in contact with them this morning as well. I can't tell you that. I wasn't part of that conversation. I would imagine there's some re relief there. Right now we're confident that the four we have in custody are involved in this burglary and homicide. And beyond that, I don't have any other specifics as to other crimes or other ties. Right. Right. I can't give you that information. Thank you.